Apple is gearing up to introduce its next generation M5 chip, and this promises to be even faster and more efficient than their just released M4 chip, and that has been a success, and it will continue to be the M4, the M4 Pro, and the M4 Max versions are, well, they're all crazy, crazy fast. I picked up a Mac Mini M4 for just doing productivity stuff on. The reason why I did that is to have a unit that was separate from my gaming rig because anyone who owns a gaming computer and installed drivers and all that kind of stuff, sometimes you need to install the operating system. And if you're using it as a productivity machine, you have to reinstall everything that's attached to all your work, like for example, OBS and all the plugins and all the rest of it, it just is a bit of a pain. So having a separate system to the gaming rig kind of makes a lot of sense. All right, so let's get back to the M5 chip. So this is, again, going to be faster and more efficient. However, Apple apparently foregoes the two nanometer fabrication process for this. Instead, they're using TSMC's advanced three nanometer process. Now, while this is not, unfortunately, the two nanometer process, and I suspect a lot of people were hoping for that, and you might see that with the M6 whenever that's released, it's going to be faster more efficient and apparently optimized architecture and as well if you can believe this longer battery life with reduced heat dissipation as well apple's adoption of 3d chip stacking technology which will further enhance performance and efficiency as well ai integration the m5 chip is likely to integrate with apple's AI, which will be pretty cool if you're into AI. I know a lot of people are very resistant to it, and I definitely get that. However, the future is AI for good or for bad, and uh, this will be including the development of a more advanced Siri powered by large language models. Now, this is pure speculation, but mass production of these M5 chips are likely in the second half of 2025, probably in the consumer space. You'll see them maybe at the end of 2025 or the beginning of 2026. Who knows? And as always, remember, if you have anything to add to this discussion, let us know.